Hello there, welcome to Jens Models. My name is Bob Waldron, and welcome to a new inbox review. We have Eddard's Provi Pack Edition, the Fucker Wolf 190A8 stroke R2, anything 148 scale. Now, this kit is new tooled in 2017, so not that old. Um, this box was reboxed in 2019, um, and it retails around about the £29.40 mark, so not a bad price. Provi Pack Edition, we do get all that lovely um, photo etch and canopy masks and we get lots of options in the, the, the form of um, lots of uh, markings and stuff so let's take a look at our first sprue well we have our canopy bit here which should be no problems because it is Eddard um, and as you can hopefully see I mean they do look quite nice and shiny you do see that we do have a lot of canopies here so you know lots of different variants and stuff that we can have for this and lots of reboxes so you can do loads and loads of fucker walls if you want to um, so that looks good uh, moving along to the fuselage section as you can see just here now looking straight at it this is the beauty of Eddard absolutely stunning gorgeous very crisp very consistent recess panel lines recess rivets we've even got those tiny little rivets that you see in between um, the panels as well absolutely gorgeous right as you can see as well on this side absolutely stunning um, on the inside um, looking at this i do know that they, they do build up a lot but um, looking quite flat i mean i'm seeing an eject pin mark there and there maybe or is that a jet pin mark or a bit of detail maybe it's a bit of detail um, but then don't look like they're in places where you're going to have to take care of them um, looking at the wing section again absolutely stunning i mean just look at that surface detail on the wing that is going to look beautiful with a wash both top and bottom absolutely stunning um, detail on the inside we do have um, like what looks like to be like some raised rivets just there on the inside for our wheel wells absolutely looking stunning surface detail top top marks we've got another couple of sprues here with all our little bits and bobs again you know landing gear lovely surface detail let's have a quick look uh, we have no eject pin marks on there which sometimes you do but not with this kit and there's lots of detail on there as well um, we've got some free fall bombs again looking quite good we've got some fuel tanks again bags of detail on there cannot fault it couple of engine cowls here i think probably a couple of different versions and whatnot going on with that um, we've got another two sprues here let's have a look at some instrument display panels which what you will notice oops maybe bring you in a little bit closer yes we do have the usual blank tape for uh, the photo etch and then you've also got the detail parts if you want to just sort of brush that on or paint it on right and we've got a couple of different um, um, instrument display panels there for you to choose from or depending on what version is going on and as you can see a bit more sort of detail there the wheels i mean these treads do look really nice and crisp as well as the hub caps a um, couple of mgs that sort of run along here um, let's just flip this over i'm just checking seeing if we've got any nasty eject pin marks in places you wouldn't want to see them and i'm just not seen any so looking good um, then we have um, a couple of propellers on here again we've probably got different versions um, which is all good um, again what's this this looks like some wheel well detail maybe again as you can see looking quite stunning uh, we'll just flip this over and we have engine detail i mean admittedly it is sort of like blanked out there but it looks like you you're only going to see this bit there hopefully that doesn't look too bad let's get you to focus on camera there we go uh, a seat our seat you know a little bit of detail going on there with our seat um what else we got on here we've got a bit of wheel well detail um hopefully as you could see there you can actually see like little tiny rivets and everything going on there which is pretty amazing detail um also going on there and we have our cockpit tub just there right 
actually looks really, really nice. Um, hardly any flash going on. I mean, it looks like a top kit. If it goes together nicely, then that will be pretty damn amazing. Um, we do get some photo etch with this. Right, if I just quickly sort of show you this, get it the right way around. Yes, we have the nice instrument display panels and all your little goodies to go around there, some seat belts and everything. Um, you know, should really sort of jazz your cockpit up really, really nice. Then we have some canopy masks, which is always a good one. Can't really see them on camera, but they always really sort of help. Uh, we have some decals or decals just here. If I just quickly get these out. Um, we do have the stencils, which we have, uh, you know, a nice couple of stencils going on just there. Hopefully you can see. Um, you can sort of make out the writing, uh, even the smaller stuff. So it's a, it looks like a good, good print on there. And then we have the actual main marking stencils just here, which does feel nice and thin, doesn't feel like they're very thick. We do have um, our dials as well, just there. So as you know, you can sort of choose really, that's the cool thing about our dials. You can really sort of choose how you want to go about building your cockpit. Um, and all the colors look good. Everything looks in registry and all lining up nicely um, and can't really fault it. So a quick now look at the instructions. Um, we do get this nice high quality paper for the um, probably pack edition. Nice description about the actual aircraft itself. Um, again, the instructions, it's good old dead odd. We've got a nice bit of color to help sort of explain things a little bit better. Um, showing you where all the photo etch goes, where everything goes. It does seem to guide you and show you quite nice where everything's going. Looks like the, um, you're gonna have no problems putting the, um, the cockpit together. Two fuselage halves coming together, as well as you've got your two wing sections coming together. So nice, easy World War II sort of build. Um, going through this, I mean, we do have the engine that doesn't look too bad. I mean, hopefully that's going to sort of look good. I mean, I, I showed you a picture of it, it's sort of, um, not a big sort of the full engine. It just kind of cuts it in half, but, um, you know, you probably might not see that well in there. So it might not be such a big deal. Uh, but yeah, you bring the fuselage and your wing sections together. Then you've got all your ailerons, which look like you can move them in different positions and stuff. Uh, doesn't show landing gear in the up position, but you should be able to be able to do that anyway, but it doesn't show, but you should. Um, and then we've got all our little bits going on, canopy and uh, propellers and stuff. Uh, does show you how to put all your um, canopy masks, but you also get um, wheel masks as well. So if you don't like painting tires, always a good one. Um, and then we've got some options to put some fuel tanks just on here. Then we have our markings, which we have one, two, three, four, five, five different markings to choose from. So we've got a nice good choice. Um, we do have um, quite a few nice sort of camo patterns. It doesn't look like they're kind of just focusing, do they? Have we got some really sort of different ones? Okay, the camo patterns do all look the same. But then we do have, you know, it's kind of like you've got a bit more color to it with like with this one with the, the black tape nose, um, sort of like different, sort of like this red trim on the fuselage there and like a bit of a yellow underbelly on the engine cowl section, um, just to sort of jazz things up and give you a nice bit of choice, a bit of color. Um, uh, and it does look like it's gonna, exp it explains it really nicely. It does do the color call outs for, I'm assuming that is the, um, Mr. Hobby Aquarius range, which we do have in stock, by the way. And then we've got all our stencils on the back, which doesn't look like there is a massive amount if you don't like Declan. Um, so it should be good. Other than that, I mean, really, you know, it's definitely a big thumbs up. I mean, less than 30 pounds and you got yourself a probably pack edition of an absolutely gorgeously um, amazing surface detail for a kit, which hopefully should go together really, really well with all the lovely extras, definitely a big thumbs up. Um, so hopefully you've enjoyed that, but as always, until next time, my name is Boy Wardrons Chess Models, and I'll catch you later.